Today, I'll show you how you can add Google reviews like this to your WordPress site. And we'll also see how to create a shareable Google review link for your clients or customers like this. So they can click on it and leave the review directly without any hassle. Also, if you're new to WordPress, don't worry, I'll only use one free plugin for this. So just follow these steps and you'll be all set. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I just use this plugin myself and it's free. So I'm showing it to you today. It also has some extra benefits that I really like. For example, you can choose to hide reviews that might be spam. You can also choose to highlight pieces of text from the detailed reviews. We can also filter these reviews based on the rating and also a way to reply to these comments using ChatGPT. Now the first step is to get a verified Google business account because without that, your reviews won't show up on your site. So let's go to this link, which I'll add in the description and it will take us to Google's business page and just follow the process step by step. Now, once you're done, you will see a screen like this. And after a couple of days, you will get a letter from Google with a code. Do not miss this step because without it, your profile won't get verified and no reviews will show up. So once you open that, go to the verification section and put in the code you received from Google and you should see that your business account is verified. All right, now we are ready to set up our Google reviews. So let's come to WordPress and install this free plugin widget for Google reviews. After activating the plugin, you'll be taken to the plugins dashboard. Here, you'll be able to explore various layout options for how your reviews will look on your site. You can scroll through to see some sample layouts from other websites for inspiration. Next, let's connect your Google business account to this plugin. Just click connect and then enter your profile name. You can also search for your business by entering your Google Maps location. Once you find it, click connect. After connecting, you can choose a layout for how the reviews will appear on your website. You can find a lot of good options here. So choose one that fits your website. Once you've selected your layout, you'll see a preview of it. You can also choose which reviews to display. All reviews, only five star reviews, or reviews that are four stars and above. I'll choose the five star reviews to only show the best. And let's go to the preview. As you can see, it only shows five star reviews. There are more customizations too. You can hide reviews that don't have comments, show review replies, and much more. After you're done customizing, click save, and then hit get code. And let's head over to the Elementor to add the review widget to our page. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before, and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Let's start by creating a new container in Elementor. Set it to full width. Then in the advanced tab, set the margins and padding to zero. After that, search for the shortcut widget and add it to the container. Then go here and paste the shortcut that we copied earlier. And voila, you can see the reviews displayed exactly the way you want them in the plugin dashboard. Let's preview the page. And as you can see, it works perfectly. Now, before we get into customizing this, let me quickly show you how to create a shareable Google review link for your clients. So go to Google, look for your business, then on the top right, click on the nine dots, then click business. Now here in these options, click ask for review and it will give you this pop-up. You can now share this link directly to your clients and customers or share it with your friends by clicking on the social media icons. Next, let's fine tune the placement of the review container. Go back to Elementor and open the advanced tab and set the margins to zero and the padding to 50 pixels. And here's the cool part. Your visitors can leave reviews directly from your website by clicking the review button. If you want to edit the visibility of individual reviews, you can easily do that too. Head back to the Google Reviews plugin dashboard and click on My Reviews. From here, you can choose which reviews you want to highlight or hide. For example, if you want to hide a review, just click the button to hide it. To highlight a review, click the button, select the text you want to highlight and hit Save. All right, you can see that the text is now highlighted, making it stand out. You can even respond to reviews right from here. And the best part, you can use ChatGPT to write your responses. 
just click the reply button and let chat GPT generate a response for you. Now you can also edit it and save it. Once you've customized everything to your liking, let's preview it. As you can see, the reviews I chose to hide are no longer visible and the highlighted reviews stand out clearly on the page. You can also use a review pop-up to make it stand out even more. In the plugin dashboard, go to the free widget configurator and then choose pop-up as the layout. Then follow the same steps as before, copy the short code, head to Elementor and add a container. Then go here and paste the short code. With this pop-up, you'll show a quick preview of your reviews and visitors can click to see more details. It's a really nice feature that grabs attention. Okay, I think we are done. Let's test it. Let's add a Google review here. And let's see if it updates on my website. As you can see, the widget is not updating reviews, but don't worry, we can fix this. Here, click on the pop-up that's asking you to create a free account with Trust Index. Fill in your details. And once your account is created, you'll be able to link it to Google. Once connected, select a layout and hit save. Okay, again, copy the new WordPress code from here, head back to Elementor, paste the code into the shortcode widget, hit apply, and then publish. Now, go to the advanced settings, scroll down to troubleshooting, and enable automatic updates. This will ensure your reviews stay updated automatically. And that's it. You've now added Google reviews to your WordPress site and have full control over how they are displayed. Adding these reviews to your website can generate trust and help get more visitors as well. Your customers can now leave reviews. You can highlight or hide specific reviews and everything updates automatically. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.